I was just a kid when I learned about Watkins Glen. Yep, just a kid, but I tell you what, I had started a dream at that time. I definitely started a dream. Watkins Glen, this town up here in upstate New York. It's um, kind of like goes way back in racing. 1948, actually, the first street races. It was uh, plotted out through the streets, quite exciting. But then they finally built a road course because it was pretty serious to these people, and I like that. That was built in 56. So, um, geez, I still hadn't even thought about it or even learned about it, but anyway, they finally brought Formula One drivers in from Europe to race at the Glen. That was in 61. The first Grand Prix was in 1970, and it was won by Emerson Fittipaldi. Watkins Glen is like Indianapolis. It's become a race town. Everywhere you look, it's racing on the minds of the town people, and in comes the racing fans. So it's, it's race, 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 and I like that. What happened for me, I found myself, you know, I found the Glen somewhere in um, probably the late, no, the early 70s. I realized uh, this is a great place to race. I'd love to go there one day and race. Well, I'm getting close. My passion for racing actually was started by learning and watching the actor who turned racer, Paul Newman. When I first saw Paul Newman, he was racing a Z car. And that was pretty impressive because he was on many tracks, and including the Glen. In those days, it was like you'd read about it in a car magazine. I said to myself, when I was that young, I'd say, I'd love to race there one day at the Glen. I came to the SCCA race, so here I am filming the race, and uh, two guys are up there next to me saying, there goes Paul Newman. I'm like, wait, that's Paul Newman? Cool. This is another dream come true. Finally get to see him. Yep. After all that time, here he is. I found out why the number 82. He's 82 years old now. I see in the local paper that Paul came in fourth place in his GT1 class Corvette. Now that got me thinking. If he can do it at 82, I believe I can conquer the Glen as well. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, should I go out on the track, solo it alone, or should I ask an instructor? Do I have the course down in my head? Did I really get something out of the DVD I studied? Is it ingrained? Is it a, is it, do I have the pattern? Can I follow it? Am I ready to apply my previous knowledge, my experience? Or am I just crazy enough to put my life on the line? I could overshoot. A turn or I could slide off at any turn leaving me injured and certainly uh, with a messed up car. Huh. I don't have time for that. I'm going to drive the best that I can.
24 laps later, made it to the checker, and the car did not break down or even leave the track. All right. I'll work on getting good car position next year. Well, with my determination and Paul Newman's inspiration and Barbara Jean's support, I can easily say, I conquered the Glen.